Brian Fritz here with NXT superstar Roderick Strong. He is the North American champion. We're getting ready for NXT on USA Network. So, live. Live. 8 p.m. 7 Central. This is a serious man, but he's excited. Yeah. About it. <laughs> so what's it like for you now? You know, I, I talked to Adam even, and he said, we found out the same time uh, everybody else found out. So what was your first reaction uh, when you found out about this? Finally, we're going to be on live TV. Yeah. Yeah. That would just... Let's go. Let's get this going. I was hoping it would start the next day. You know, it didn't matter. But, yeah, just ready to show the world. Like, I don't know. It's just one of those things that you preparing for something your whole life and you're ready to do it. Like, you've had a lot of great opportunities, but live television is a whole other beast. And I know personally the four of us are very prepared for it. So, awesome yeah you feel like you've been building up to this point i'm sure because i mean you, you've been in wrestling for a long time they have as well when it comes to the other guys in undisputed era so that build to get to this point did you did you think it was going to happen in this manner because the way that the the business changes now i don't think anybody really necessarily realizes what could be around the corner yeah and i definitely didn't anticipate it i, I figured at one point it would eventually happen but just like everything, it happens all of a sudden. You know, it's like, and there we go, two weeks we're going TV. All right, cool. Like, and, and I wouldn't have it any other way. That's, you know, that's the entertainment business, wrestling. It's just stuff always coming up. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys have been such a tight-knit group. You've, been, you've known each other for a long time. Yeah. Uh, did you think that this opportunity would come from a standpoint of that not only would you get this point, but you're doing it with some of your closest friends? Um, I mean, w when they originally came here, and I was already here, yeah, I knew something eventually. I mean, it just was, was meant to be. And it, it was cool because it wasn't us saying it, it was everybody. It was the fans saying it, like, and then eventually, you know, the boss is saying it. So, yeah, and then after that, it was just like, we're just waiting for each and every opportunity because we know we know the skill set that we have as a group and individually and we know what we bring to the table and it, it's just awesome that we get the opportunity to show our creativity to the world and because you know individually we're all great but together we're we're literally unstoppable in that sense because we give people the most genuine experience that you possibly can get you know, you talk about the fans want to see you guys together, but it's a different thing when it comes to the people that you work for. Was it was it a tough fight at all, or was it just came together naturally and they realized it? Just naturally, it? yeah. And that has to be, you know, to another level, you know, appreciated from the standpoint that they can see it, they're listening to the audience, and it's something that we all believe is going to work, and we've seen what's done now. And, uh, you know, you guys have been together for over a year, and I think it's it feels like it's just even starting to some extent. Oh, well, totally. It's funny because we talk about it all the time. When Bobby came back from his knee injury, like that was one of the things. Is like now this is like it's it's fresh again already, and it hasn't been not fresh. But it was just one of those things. The dynamic was gonna change, like, and it has been. It's been just fun because then we just realized like with the changes, and the, and then we adjust and adapt accordingly. And we just kind of had the same conversation as like, and then this move to the USA Network, like now we get to reintroduce ourselves to the people that know us, but we introduce ourselves to a whole new audience. And it's something that you realize like we haven't even really shown a 16th of what we can do. Like it, it, it's unbelievable. And I think too, when people you talk about, you know, the audience getting to know you, I think they're really getting to know you from a standpoint that, you know, people always talk about, man, Roderick Strong, one of the best wrestlers around, but I want to see a little bit more when it comes to the personality side. And I think that's what we're seeing here is we're seeing a whole different side of you, and it's it's like a second phase to your career. Oh, a hundred percent. And it's interesting because, you know, our personalities are all so different in the group too, and and like, you know, people will say what they want, like oh, more funny, more this, more that, like, and then we, but we all understand our roles and and being able to show like. The dynamic because that's legit the dynamic in real life with us and we all are kind of we all have our little place and, it, and it's cool but yeah it was one of those things when it comes to to showing other side of me is i don't know just far more comfortable like that show you know like it, it's cool like just to be able to let loose and 
Yeah. Be me. Well, how much different do you feel when it comes to your time here in NXT? Because I believe you've been here for about three years or Tomorrow so. Tomorrow will be three years. Three years. So, how different of a of a person and a performer do you think you are before you came here? Oh man, night and day, hundred percent night and day. You know, obviously learning from Shawn Michaels has been very very helpful. Uh, He's the best, just best person. Like the amount of time and effort he puts into to helping us is unbelievable, and his love and his passion for this, and just his concern as a as a man for us. You know, it, it's the true mentor situation. Like that's the longest I've ever learned from anybody in my career. Mm. I've never had anyone teach me for an extended period of time. So it's crazy because I feel like I've you know, taking my PhD courses, but, you know, and it was adjustment at first, but it also validated a lot of the drive and the passion and the obsession towards, perf- you know, getting as close to the perfect, imperfect type situation and fully understanding this job for what it is. So, yeah. How much different is your life uh, when it comes to your personal life as well now being, you know, husband, father, everything oh, that goes man. with that? It's amazing. It re- really, really is. And it's, it's taught me to value time because I obviously, like a day like this, I don't get to spend a lot of time with my son, but I got like two hours in the morning and it was just a lot more fun. And, yeah. You know, and with, you know, with in the indies and traveling a lot, like you can get lost in your own, you know, mind a lot about stuff and I just get to enjoy life now a lot more. And I get to show, you know, my son, like what I do, how hard I work. And, you know, hopefully, you know, motivate him to continue, you know, to do that when he gets older. And, you know, to watch my wife grow in this job and, like, become so creative and, and really start, you know, it clicking for her. It, it's really fun. Like, I don't know, it's just yeah. I'm lucky. Well, how hands-on are you uh, when it comes to what she does? Because, obviously, she's training here as well. But then to have somebody else in her life like you that's done this for a while and somebody that uh, she can lean on as well, what, what's that like to, um, to be able to help her? Oh, I, what was new when it first started, I was just – because the way I handled a lot of other situations, like, you know, Eric Stevens, so when I train, like, it, I couldn't do it the same. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I just like – like – answering questions more than giving anything like if she has a question for me and then we get into talking about it uh that's where my my time is with her with that i don't i don't try to you know do too much for other than be like listen this is this is the basic skill set you need to have in this job figure it out on your own you know kind of thing and she's done a great job man she really has like grown such a creative brain for this like coming from not being like a fan at all other than you know a little bit of watching and watching me at pwg and stuff like to just really understanding stuff that people with her amount of time really wouldn't it's very impressive i I really think like she's on the verge of of really like breaking out because the people don't understand she's only been here like if less than a year and a half or whatever yeah and she's been wrestling in on shows three months in so i mean she got thrown to the wolves and she she's done a great job it's an adjustment period and i don't know i'm very excited to see the next year what happens with her so obviously people talk about the state of the art gym that's here and you're regular in there you are a cardio machine yeah and uh What's the closest somebody's come to to, uh, to matching you? Because I know that there's different competitions that go on, and it seems like you're always on top of everything. Yeah, I mean, in the ring, it's uh, that's where I do well. Like in the gym, I get you know I yeah. get tired, obviously, but I vary my training up. I mean, Sean Hayes is awesome, uh, and he you know he sets up the perfect plan for us just just to maintain like our schedule. It's pretty crazy. Here and then I have Joshy G. He also works with Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch and all that. He he does a lot of my conditioning work and then like me and my wife train together on mats, do jujitsu, like hip pads. Like I just vary it up and like keep it going. But there, I mean, the the big like Johnny's Johnny's someone that's very well conditioned. Like um, let me think of another one. I mean, say like someone on TV. I see Chad Gable, but. A lot of the guys here in NXT just train their butt off. So everyone's actually in, like, pretty, 
pretty impressive shape. So it's yeah. one of the things. If you look at our roster, look at the shape everyone's in. It's crazy. Like, you can't slip because pe- everyone's like. Well, that's the thing I was going to say, too, because the, the, the match quality is under such a, a microscope. And I think there's such a bar everybody has to hit as well. Do you, do you feel that sometimes when it comes there is that microscope of people looking at these matches going, hey, these guys have great matches and they better keep having great matches? I think our microscope's worse, like on our own stuff. I think we, the talent, have set that, you know, that bar. Yeah. And we all want to have the best match all the time and I think we want it to be that way we want that pressure of like they better keep doing it okay well we're gonna do it better and that's an infectious attitude like especially for it it just yeah it's very very motivating and you can't have off days here yeah and now we get to see you live every week on uh, TV on USA Network it's gonna be a lot of fun man yeah it is thanks for the time appreciate it thank you appreciate it